Yeah. No, no, we can't get him yet. No, 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 put it back, put it back, put it back. He shows up in season 16. He shows up in season 16, put it back. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Get out of here, Mr. Malcolm. And you too, Jesse. We'll get there when we get there. He might have hit the wall a little hard. Oh. Ooh. Ooh, he might come out of that looking like like Todd. Ooh. Ooh. Hello, everybody. Chips. Welcome. Uh, <laughs> um, so here's the thing. Uh, today we'll be breaking new ground by doing pretty much exactly what we've been doing for a while, but also yep. not... <laughs> so, today we watched an episode of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, Season 2, Episode 7, uh, The Gang Exploits a Miracle. Yes. And also, we, we've discussed it, and uh, for those of you that know this episode, a big thing in this episode is that it is the intro to- Oh, welcome to the podcast. If this yeah. is your first one, it's a conspiracy <laughs> theory slash fan podcast of It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia. But- we are about to enter our cricket era, our cricket yes. arc. That's where we're at. We're going to dive in. We're going to really zoom in on little Maddie Mara or father Matthew yeah. Mara, as he is referred in the credits of this episode. And uh, we're really going to take a look at cricket, talk about him, yeah. think about him. And also, there's another thing that I'm pretty excited to get to that's inspired by one of the comments on our last Excuse episode. Me. But, um... Well, not the our episode, last episode, hi. our other last episode, episode eight, right? Yeah, there's a comment on episode eight that uh, that inspired me. All right, we'll episode get there eight, when we no, get there. episode nine? Fuck, I'm all out of whack. There's comments on both, which is good. Okay. Anyways, Ace Man's all out of whack, and I'm I all am. out of, uh, and I'm all out of. He can't remember what he's out of. Um, anyway, no, okay, yeah. so we're <laughs> talking about the gang exploits mm. uh, a miracle. This episode and they do that in, is, that in this episode. Yeah, they do. Um, to not that much success, as per the usual. Um, but yeah, I don't know. Th this episode's very weird for me. Like it's mm -hmm. a good, it's a decent episode. And yeah, it's early yeah, yeah, on, yeah. so a decent episode is like mm -hmm. good, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Um, I'm not going to, like, judge it too harshly, because it is early on yeah. in the show's run. Yeah. Um, but, yeah, I don't know. It's just, it's just a very, like, I don't, there, there's something about it that's kind of missing to me, you know? Um, Did you feel that at all? I don't know. For me, I, I wasn't super paying attention to that. It, to me, it's like, if you're watching the show, the show really does, like, evolve yeah. as it goes. And this one, as far as like a season two episode is, mm -hmm. I think it works yeah. really, really well. Like, I think it is very much kind of the premise of the show where it's like you're not supposed to root for these people. They're bad people. They yeah. deserve to go to hell. And um, I think this episode really does a good job of honing in on that with the, yeah. with the the premise especially really works for me mm -hmm. of like, Oh, they work this shit bar and fucking, uh, I don't know, a water stain looks like the Virgin Mary. There's a story. Yeah. And I think they really do get everything out of that story. But also there's sort of a C plot between D and Dennis that highlights Dennis's vanity mm -hmm. when he starts fasting. Uh, there's a really nice contest between Charlie and Mac, which, uh, really works for me and I find very charming. Yeah. Um, what else? And then, um, and there's the introduction of Matthew Mara, which yeah. is the introduction potentially of, huge. Uh, Rickety Cricket, uh, as we yeah, know Yeah, Rickety Cricket, Rickety Cricket, Rickety Cricket, <laughs> God. There's one, uh, okay, I know we're not there yet. I know we're not there yet, but this is like a character oh, thing. It's a, go, yeah, no, no, you go. Yeah, you, yeah. you go. You're you're making the you're making the <laughs> I just, the. I just because like the whole thing is that he used to have leg braces. Mm -hmm. I would, but like as the show goes on, 
they kind of just like r- refer to him as Cricket, like that's his name. <laughs> yeah. I would love it if in season fifteen, Rickety Cricket shows up and uh, and and Charlie seventeen seventeen. Yeah. What did I say? You said fifteen. <laughs> I've been weird with numbers today. I thought the two was, I thought the seven was a two. The yeah, numbers yeah, have been wacky good, good. today. But I think it would be a great gag if uh, Cricket walks into the bar and Mac is just like, hey, Rickety Cricket. And Dennis is just like, why did you? Why are you doing that? And Mac's like, I don't know. Why? Do you? Why remember. am I doing that? <laughs> I don't remember. Why? It, why? Because well, it just kind of gets to the that? point of like they don't remember the waitress's name, but they just call her the waitress, like that type of thing. Exactly. Yeah. It's, yeah. But this but, time, like, the this viewers <laughs> know the origin. Like they, yeah. they seen it. Like they yeah. get it. Mm-hmm. Um, <laughs> Man, it's fucked up that they all know the waitress's name, and I don't. <laughs> I know. Fuck. Makes me angry. But I was going to say that there's a really <laughs> funny mm-hmm. part at that scene whenever they're going like, is like afterwards, whenever uh, Cricket leaves and they're talking about um, how they could get him to bless the stain if D goes and like, like talks to Frank him. is proposing it. Yeah. yeah. And then <laughs> they're, they're like saying Cricket was all over D. He would do anything for her. He, you know, they got a yep. She got him to eat shit and said, Mm-hmm. I, don't kiss me. <laughs> your, your yeah, the play like was she yeah. proposed a kiss. She sh- trade offer. You <laughs> you eat a horse turd. I give you a kiss. And then he does it, and she says she won't kiss him because his breath smells like shit. <laughs> and then just I just it was funny. I didn't clock it until this watch, but Frank says mm-hmm. that's my girl. <laughs> like, yeah, 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 I clocked that too. I never. <laughs> That, but he's just like, yeah, I respect the play. That's a good, that's a good bit. That's a good play. Yeah, you fucking got him. <laughs> and then, and then he immediately goes into trying to pimp her out. <laughs> it's, it's really good. That is a good moment. I yeah. like that a lot. Hmm. Um. What do you have written down? Uh, I've got quite a lot written down. If I'm a yeah, uh, I saw you write down a lot. Know. I was like, uh, because I didn't. <laughs> I wrote down Let's like start. five things. <laughs> Let's start at the beginning, and yeah. maybe we'll get to some uh, uh, line deliveries and stuff. But I do kind of yeah. want to jump in on some theory stuff. And what's interesting is that I've got some shit to say that has nothing to do with cricket. Yeah. I just found it. The episode opens with Charlie waking up in the bar, and then uh, and like he like passed out. He like passed out in the office, and he spent the night in there. And then he's like, "Oh, water's standing there," but like. I find it really interesting thinking about what happened while Charlie was in that room. Because what if they're in hell by this point? Yeah. And what if the Mother Mary actually was in the room with Charlie and was like, Charlie, my son, Ooh. you you are in you are you are in a you are in a hell type thing. And Charlie's just <laughs> face down, arms and sides. <laughs> He's just passed out <laughs> on the desk. And then he wakes up and she just like turns into a water stain. <laughs> I don't know. I like that. I like that. There is a lot of implied <laughs> things in this episode, mm-hmm. I feel like. Um, implied things? Implied, like, history-wise? No, not history-wise. More just, like, things that happen off-camera that they don't show, but it's, like, implied. I don't know. Like, I, I told you whenever this happened in the episode, whenever D mm-hmm. is at confession, how like, I was like, uh, how many priests did she turn away and just be like, get yeah. the fuck out of here when, cause she's waiting yeah, for you Mara? specifically. No. <laughs> yeah. 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 You know? mm-hmm. And like, also like, that, yeah. like with Dennis fasting for three fucking days straight, what did You're he right, do? Yeah. You know, like s- there's, mm. we don't mm. see a lot of like what happens mm. to the characters. Um, yeah. I think that's a little bit why this episode feels a little bit off to me is cause it's a really, it's kind of a big you know picture yeah. episode. Yeah, I don't know. It, 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 it like I, I, I kind of see what you're saying right now. There's like this whole sense of like like Dennis mentions. Yeah, that's an interesting point to bring up that he's been fasting for three days and that this like. But yeah, and we only see the, the results of it. We it don't get it to almost see, like, feels like the struggle. church thing <laughs> happens in one day. 
Yeah, you know what right? I mean, because like apparently this has lasted a while and they're doing this, but there isn't like we don't ever see nighttime. Yeah, and all which the kind of weird. All the people at the bar mean. are consistently there every single time. Mm. Like it doesn't mm-hmm. feel like if like there's some weird time shenanigans going on. That could be like a theory yeah. thing, or just uh, mm-hmm. I, I in this podcast I want to like not say things are continuity errors and I don't want to bring up continuity errors because it's just kind of like lame. We want to justify the continuity errors. Yeah, if, the if we do somehow. bring it up, then that's yeah. the way to do it. Like, Were there any consistency errors you noticed in this one? Other than the time stuff, not really. Oh, okay. Um, cool, cool, cool. Yeah. But the bar does seem very like it's just locked in time. But outside it isn't. Like uh, the outside world is going by normal, but the in like mm-hmm. the interior of the bar is stuck in one day. Okay, like that's kind let's of the feel. Let's talk about the inside of the bar and the outside world. Yeah. Um. There's something that two puzzle pieces fit together in a mm. really interesting way in my brain while I was watching D in the confession booth here. Mm. I think. It's entirely possible. There's actually, I've got like, there's like two branching paths in my brain, and both of them are kind of yeah. different uh, in in different ways. One branching path, that wasn't D, mm. and I've got a whole thing there. Another branching path that was D, and it was bait for yeah. Matthew. To, like, bring him into hell, to bring him into the bar out of wherever he was. Because by this point, they could be in hell. They could be dead. But maybe D was given, like, a a side quest or some shit to bring Matthew in to test him. Because it really does feel like he was put to the test and failed and then punished for the rest of his fucking life by these people. (laughs) But the I want to talk about the this isn't D thing. Um... On our episode eight, the gang gets trapped. Our, we got a new commenter, which first of all, love to see it. Uh, Sour Zombie 5467. They mentioned, they, I, I, could you put the comment on screen? Do yeah, you have I can the do that. capacity? Do you have the technology to do that? Oh my God, it's fading in right now. Oh my gosh, the opacity oh. slider. You put in two keyframes and yeah. one keyframe is 100 and one keyframe is zero. What? Okay, anyways. Um, I love this podcast and I can't wait for the next episode. Love to hear you talk about Charlie McDennis, an episode filled with pure torture. Yes, and then the uh, sequel I, also has torture. Oh, yeah, it's got, uh, what is, oh, what does he say? Uh, for horror. It's got horror. Ever heard of a game called Operation? <laughs> Shit, he's got a point. <laughs> uh, but... They, also, they continue on by saying, I believe Dennis and Dee are demons punishing the rest of the gang in that episode. Mm. And this connects with the theory of Dennis working behind the scenes of the Truman Show and how. And that gave me a thought. That's good. That gave me a really, really interesting thought is consider this imposters. Or what they're if possessed, they're, mm-hmm. right? Or that, they're that possessed, yeah, well, something or other. But like... Yeah. There, there may be certain instances or occurrences where we see a member of the gang possessed and yeah. not themselves. What makes that difficult is these characters are so like are very consistent, and yeah. there's not a ton of stuff that Ooh, like except doesn't for this, feel except them. Except for this mm-hmm. episode, I wrote down something. Okay, what is it? I said, or I wrote down D and Dennis swapped a little bit. Like D and Dennis, kind of like in this episode, feel like they have swapped places in a couple of moments. Specifically, mm. whenever they're talking about is my face fat, you know, that's a yeah. that's a very Dennis thing. But the mm-hmm. way he goes about handling that mm-hmm. is very mm-hmm. D to me. I don't know why. Oh, like he just allows himself to be manipulated. Exactly. And then D right. in this episode is a manipulator. She manipulates right. Cricket. And the only right. time where she feels like she is D is whenever she's like, I didn't expect you to leave the church. You know, mm-hmm. that's the only mm-hmm. times that she feels like herself. Otherwise, she feels yeah. like Dennis. But it's just they. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. It's D. And <laughs> on the and on the um, I didn't expect you to actually leave the church. That brings me to the to the second branching path yeah. that I proposed of like this was a trap for Cricket. Of like maybe that is totally entirely real. Of like 
D said those things and was like, okay, I said them, and he's going to go on living his life, and we're fine. But then yeah. he did leave the church, and she's just like, oh, God, oh, no, Maddie, you should not have done that. <laughs> there are going to be there are gonna be uh, repercussions for this. Oh, no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I would love to see – I don't think there has been – has there been an episode where two of the characters swap places? Like, and, and I know it's like the, well, how about you take a walk in my shoes for a day with the uh, Charlie and Denton? That's D. what I was going to mention. But yeah, I'm saying like, that, a, but... like a brain, like a Freaky Friday brain swap where it's literally that. Or like a community uh, thing where it's like, it's like a. Yes, bit. where it's them faking that. To the, the closest thing that pops into my brain is uh, Frank falls out the window. Hmm. Yeah. Where it's almost like he becomes a previous version of his own self, and we yeah. see members of the game repeat actions that they've done before. But uh, as far as like actual genuine mind swapping or just believing that yeah. they've swapped minds, I don't think we've ever gotten that. I don't mm. think so. I feel like that would be would very know. interesting, but they would have. I feel like the way to justify that would be in a dream episode. Yeah. Yeah. Or for Sunny specifically. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. But. Okay. Yeah. Also, I wrote down um, that this episode is making a farce of Christianity, which is funny. I, I, mm -hmm. It is really funny. Like the, the drunk yeah, priest yeah. and like yes. all that shit. Just Charlie being like the boisterous, like. Um, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Mega very church. televangelist. Yeah, very tele televangelist. Televangelist. Yeah. Uh, Mac taking Which, by it the su way, super seriously, but still also yeah. like just being a mm. <laughs> just average. I uh, love. The, I, it feels like Mac and Charlie really are like the shining light of this episode. Yeah, it, it, it focuses like, very um, much on them. Mm, a lot. Yeah. The I love Max bit of uh, that's it. Um, if I'm if we want to get into some quick line, <laughs> yeah, yeah. If we want to get into some line deliveries here, washing my hands of the whole situation, Lord. And he's like, I'm out. I like that a lot. The Lord will smite you. The Lord will yeah. smite you. <laughs> <laughs> Such a fucking awesome thing to say before leaving a room. <laughs> um, but also Charlie, like his whole. You you risk your feet, you get some shoes. Like that's an awesome fucking monologue. <laughs> and the fact that like, I think they mentioned on yeah. the pod that that was improvised, which mm. is sick. Is sick as like yeah. that's so awesome. Like, um, we can't like obviously there's the the hits the we got the good lord is going down on going me. Down on me. <laughs> <laughs> and then the I wrote down specifically the ending of the cold open where Frank is like. You know what it is? It's a mm. goddamn gold mine. Yes. Um, and which is since we are talking cricket, great. he also, David Hornsby did have a uh, a line delivery for me, where uh, D says, you know, well, hey, I didn't always lead you on. I, I I had you do my math homework for me that one time, and he says, not sure I follow your logic there. <laughs> <laughs> like, and he's just very dry and candid about it, and in that, and and I've never clocked that line before. Oh, yeah. But like, especially since he's not a, a cartoon character yet, yeah, it's very it's very great to see just like a really dry <laughs> delivery from him. I'm just like, I'm actually. <laughs> it's not a line delivery, but there's a moment at the end that's just fucking yeah. great, where yeah. they're like. Uh, Dennis had just passed out because he's been fasting. And then ten, out like, ten, <laughs> 10 out of 10 pratfall from Glenn there. 10 out of 10 Oh, um, so good. And then they're like, do you want to teabag Dennis? And then Cricket's like... <laughs> yeah, it's a face delivery. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, get to the camera. <laughs> We're poor, poor. Poor, poor. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> a while back All right. in the pod, mm -hmm. I mm. I don't know what episode it was that uh I brought this up on, but I was talking about cricket and I was mentioning that I think that he died off camera and then he's like here in this episode. Or like he he mm. like shows up because he shows up just in the bar. He doesn't show up outside and then they bump into him, he shows up in the bar. He, he came to the bar. That's what I bar. find interesting is he says that like curiosity brought him here. Yes. And the bar. in this episode, whenever D is in confession, she's talking about like 
God's plan or whatever for them because he's trying to manipulate uh-huh. them. And um, she brings up like, oh, there's got to be a reason. There's got to be more for like why God brought you to the bar, you know? Mm-hmm. And God I works think, bigger than that. I think that it could be just like he died and then they just, I don't know, whatever demons like brought him there. Mm-hmm. Because, like, I feel like this is just, like, the beginning of the torture. Like, you were saying earlier where it's, like, if this is the real world, they're, like, bringing him down. But, like, I feel like he just died off camera. Because they're, I don't know. That that is an easy way to explain it. But, like, you know. But but he has to end up there somehow. If they ended up there, they ended up there somehow. While you were talking, something interesting happened in my brain. Where I was thinking, uh, because in my head... If they are in a TV show, mm-hmm. in the if the TV show is a TV show that's being made in the show, yeah. <laughs> um, I've always assumed it was for demons. Yeah, and then I had a new thought. What if it's all in an alternate reality? And, and this is actually like a cool fucking concept. What if it is? Filmed, broadcasted, and made in hell, but it's broadcasted to Earth. Like, to the mortal realm. And it's broadcasted Ah. as a fucking, like, PSA of, like, hey, these people went to hell and here's why. (laughs) Like. Yeah. Huh. I'm uh I'm gonna I'm gonna tumble that one around in the old uh, I'm gonna like (laughs) shake my head and hear some like pins rattle around in there for a while. Yeah. Um is there anything else outside of cricket that outside we want to mention? Um, or no, you like like outside of cricket so that we can like get it out of the way and then hone in on cricket. I want to. This is like outside of the gang too, but the oh old, okay, the old lady that shows up that like mm. is a consistency there. Whenever she like yes. gives one like quarter to the Frank. Coin. Yeah. And then she's at the end like, oh, it's because we listen to a false yeah. prophet. That lady. That's a line delivery for me. Here's her whole thing there is like, <laughs> oh, <laughs> like it's so she's so upset. That lady's awesome. Yeah. I feel like she could. I don't know if she's like a demon or not, though, in the theory. Mm. Like, I don't know. Because mm. I we haven't really settled on how the barflies are or who the barflies are. Or what? What, what any NPC characters yes. are yeah you know mm-hmm. god um because we've just been assuming that they're like demons playing a role in the show which is yeah yeah in, yeah in the, cats in our... are brown now <laughs> in our theory it can make sense <laughs> cats are brown now do you think cats. do you think do you think that the um and they're brown <laughs> go on do you think that the drunk priest is a, like, regular guy? Oh. That's also being tortured, and then they just brought oh, him in? Oh, oh, I had a think, I had a thinking of him, because it's crazy how, like, like, it's interesting, conceptually, mm-hmm. that, like, the Mother Mary is present in the bar, mm-hmm. and then this old guy comes in and desecrates it, and yeah. now is gone. And 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 oh, and it's interesting how Frank brings that guy in too, but like I, I don't know, it's it's like religious iconography, priests, cats are brown now. It's yeah. it's uh, there's a lot of interesting stuff. Um, I think I've hit pretty much everything. Oh, at the beginning they're interviewing Dennis for the news, and it very much makes it look like a TV production because it does not look like a news <laughs> banner. It just says like it's just a it blue just says, low opacity screen. Yeah, it says Dennis Reynolds Dennis and Fox Reynolds, Eleven bar owner and, mm-hmm. or local bar owner yeah, and yeah, then yeah. Fox Eleven in normal like regular yeah. font, like not it's a very very <laughs> lo-fi. But like mm-hmm. that that could just be what local news stations looked at the time oh my gosh you're so right yeah i don't fucking know yeah um does the number 22 have any significance um i don't think so that was the room that the priest was in hmm just leave that there i'll let the uh, hive mind of our two viewers I don't. I, I didn't look around <laughs> at the apartment complex. 
You're or too busy ab- looking, Dennis, apartment. looking at Dennis's <laughs> eyes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, where he's like, I'm just a little bit tired. I've been just, you know. <laughs> like, it's just. <laughs> oh, it is, it is good. It is good. Yeah. Um, but I feel like that guy, the priest guy, is probably in the same apartment complex as Charlie and Frank, maybe. Maybe that's how Frank knows him, but I didn't look around, so I don't know. I didn't, like, get a... Yeah. I didn't clock anything, because I forgot. Um, hmm. <laughs> but viewers, if you clocked it, you can correct me. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, Cricket, 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 man. Mm-hmm. He's a funny guy. I... <sighs> how like... did he leave the church, do you think? Because he, mm. he, like... Because that's a thing that he says that even the first time I watched this episode has always kind of been interesting to me. Of He's like, I can't go back. Like, how did he leave the church in such a, like, because there's always the joke of, like, uh, I'm going to quit my job and tell my boss to fuck off and eat my shit. And then you need your job back. And you're like, hey, listen, man, I'm sorry I told you to fuck off and eat my shit, but I need my job back. Like, what did Cricket do for... Cause I've never been a priest. I don't know what it takes to be a know. priest, but I, but like, I, uh, did he actually like do something irredeemable? He could have. While he left the church. He could possibly have. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. I don't, I don't know. He could have just done that. Like, fuck you. But you know, Fuck you, I quit. I'm going to go be with the love of my life. Yeah. And then D was like, uh, you're a really nice guy. (laughs) (laughs) Mac and Charlie's fucking. I do like how whenever D walks up to him outside of the church, she's like, Mm -hmm. I know I let you on whenever we were younger in high school, but I just, you know, (laughs) and then just the constant like or the repeated thing of (laughs) cricket being like, you're leading me on right now. Like you're doing. What? (laughs) Oh, Oh, I'm so sorry, Maddie. You want to go talk about it over drinks? No, I'm not. You're you're doing it still. (laughs) That's good. She's so silly. Guess, like, so next episode boss. we're guess next episode we're doing is yeah. Manhunters. We're Man entering Hunters. our cricket arc. We're entering the we're cricket gonna arc start... for because we're on episode eleven. So I mm-hmm. I kind of want to structure the podcast a little bit better because mm-hmm. we've just been free balling it so far. Yeah. So for this, either five or ten episodes, however much we can really get out of cricket right now. Yeah. Um, I think we'll just dedicate ten episodes to. Oh, your face lit up. I want to know your face. <laughs> I want to know what happens. Crickets in family fight. Ooh. Cricket is in family fight. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. But yeah, either it's going to be the 10 episodes are going to be cricket special or it's going to be um just general like reoccurring characters. Characters. Probably just Cricket yeah. and the waitress. For the mm-hmm. for these, and then we'll get like the McPoyles yeah. and whatever later. That's a whole can of worms. Mm-hmm. But. And if we're and and if we're talking about uh, character side characters, yes, uh, this is more of like a general statement. But I never really mm-hmm. put it together until I saw it pointed out on Reddit. Maybe I'll hunt down the post so that we can link it or something. But it fucking boggled my mind because it kept going. Someone made a post about like who is your favorite. Uh, character from season one mm-hmm. who never shows up again and then it was like and 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 like it was kind of like a slideshow right but there's like the fucking I I I ugh, I might try to track down the post but it just kept fucking going and I was like oh my god like there are so many characters who are just there but yeah. they're big characters the one like the the stripper from Charlie wants an abortion he got AIDS like that woman <laughs> um who else fucking the first episode Terrell 
Like, mm. he never fucking shows up, and he's a great character, too. Yeah. Fucking, but, like, the list goes on and on and on of these people who, like, show up and are great. The people that uh, Dennis sleeps with in that same first episode, too. Like, there's all these things in that first season that, like, never come back. Yeah. And I find that very interesting. I do, too. Mm-hmm. But Matthew... He come, he's, he's here. He's, he's in there with them. <laughs> We're in our cricket era. We might just cap off the episodes, like the 10 episodes, the, uh, the cricket episodes, with a cricket tale. I don't know. We'll, 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 we'll figure I think it that's out. that's good. Yeah. But, yeah. Leave some comments down below of what you want us to watch or talk about, um, mm -hmm. like cricket related or even just like other, you know, side characters, you know, mm -hmm. type beats. And yeah. whatever you think of this episode... Also, yeah. Absolutely. And if you want to get in touch with us, just dial the number on screen. Five. Sunny spelt wrong. That's five. Sunny spelt wrong. Yep. Mm -hmm. You want to see your? Do you want to <laughs> say your line? Which one? The egg. Sure. Put an egg in your shoe and beat it. Bye. Uh, it up or was it up? And it gives the